Now, the topic of discussion this morning is actually on public transportation. And I have two of my beautiful colleagues joining me on set this morning to unpack this conversation. Now, on the far left, we have Elizabeth Aino. And in the middle, Joy Otu, also known as Oja. <laughs> good morning, guys. Hello, good, good morning. morning. So excited to have you here. How are you doing? I'm good. I know that we normally have fun offsets, you know, when we're around the office and all of that. Definitely. But now we are on set, serious, serious, tea, coffee, blah, blah, blah. How do you feel? How do you feel about that, Elizabeth? I feel excited. You know, yeah. being here with you, you know, it's, 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 the feeling is, is yeah. different. Yeah. yeah. The feeling is different. So I'm, I'm yeah. really oh, happy to be here. That's amazing. Oja, does this <laughs> feel different from 102.1 FM? Well... Yes, certainly very different because you know, 102.1 FM, my face is not a scene, so yeah, yeah I can just do my thing. But here, hmm. I mean, I love your voice on the radio, I love uh, listening to you, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, like you're on the drop down, aren't you? On yes. 102.1 FM, yes, yeah, the drop down, yeah, so it, the drop down, bringing yeah. to you everything entertainment, oh, oh shit, oh, oh shit, the the game. <laughs> <laughs> so right, so if you're actually in Lagos and you listen to one zero two, I don't know why you shouldn't listen to one zero two point one. Exactly. How but do you want to drop down your stress? Exa exactly. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. So if you listen to High Impact Radio one zero two point one FM, that's beautiful voice at the drop down, usually in the evenings, yeah. is. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, so guys, we are discussing public transportation hmm. on the show this morning. Earlier on the show, I had a look at some very interesting public transportation, modes of public transportation around the world. Um, we looked at um, so we looked at some in Peru, in Shanghai, in China, um, Bolivia. In Bolivia, okay. they have this. Um, um, like train cars that move from the mountain because you know there are lots of mountains, mountains in, there, in Bolivia yeah. so they yeah. have these trains that like little cable cars yeah that move them from like the lower parts of the mountain up to the top just very fascinating and then oh, we also spoke about the Lagos Blue Line have you, have you guys been on the Blue Line yet not, not yet. yet not yet <laughs> not yeah yet. me too um, I, I mean are you looking forward to it is that something that you want to Definitely. Do? yeah and I'm looking forward to like taking friends. videos because everybody that's what you do oh. when you're on the train yeah. you take videos some paparazzi and right. stuff like the that views actually look, yeah the views look pretty <laughs> cool right yeah, from the videos I've seen yeah. online, it actually look really amazing. Actually, look really amazing. So now we now right, we're going to be looking at <laughs> some shocking experiences on <laughs> public transport. Now, <laughs> if you live in this Lagos, especially this Lagos, mm -hmm. oh my goodness, there is no way you won't have a shocking <laughs> public transport experience. You can't, you can't avoid it. it. All right? Lagos is just full of drama. Mm. <laughs> I think they should rename Lagos to Idon Lagos. Idon Lagos. Yes, there's so many Idon in this Ah! As in, too many don't have it. And you know, what <laughs> makes this in conversation interesting is that I feel like three of us, um, we recently just moved to Lagos. Yeah. So, uh, well, I mean, <laughs> mm. well, no, we've not been here like for, for a very long, time. long, long time. periods of time. So yeah. we've been experiencing that shock, that shocking experience of what it means wow. to travel in Lagos, right? So um, before we get into some of the responses, let me have, let, let's start from you, Elizabeth. Like, what is one shocking experience that you've had <laughs> traveling in Lagos or in Nigeria? You, you know? sure you want one? Yes, please. Let's Just hear it. Just one. Okay. Oh, more than Just, one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you have plenty. No, I've been in Lagos for like five months now, and I could okay, say okay. I have like thousands of experiences already. So my first experience with Lagos public transport is, so as a new person in Lagos, mm. you get, and I, I thought they should have given me like a manual or something. <laughs> they should have prepared <laughs> me, you know. So um, <laughs> I jumped on from the bus. I was headed for uh, Ogba, yeah. Okay. So as a new girl in Lagos, you know, coming from just life there is quite easy. Right. It's not like this hustling bustling in Lagos yeah. and stuff like that. So in my own gentle girl stuff and Aww. all that, so I stopped the bus, I'm like, Ogba, Ogba. And then it was just waiting for me. I like hot walking down to the oh, bus. Okay. <laughs> again, and then like, Oloshi, and I'm like, what have I done wrong? Like, can you just yeah. wait for me? Wait, wait, hold up, please. Let's be mindful of the language. <laughs> yes, I'm so sorry. You know, listen, I know we're going to be unpacking Lagos experiences. Oh and some of those terms, it's some of the terms you interface with, but let's 
try and avoid it. But please keep it's going. Okay, yeah. So um, I got a lot of insults from the, yeah. the conductor, and then it took me like tasks to get another bus. So a lady beside me I told me that girl, you see next time, you just you just <laughs> run with your bags and everything. Just just run down to the bus. Yeah. Mm. I'm like, okay, no problem. I'm like, okay, God. I need strength to survive. Uh, literally, <laughs> apparently. <laughs> in this stamina as well, so we're running to catch your bus and all of that. Actually, <laughs> you're did. right. I feel like people coming into Lagos need to be given a manual guide. Like mm -hmm. Lagos, Surviving Lagos 101. Yeah. <laughs> like, there should be a book on the Yeah, Lagos for dummies. <laughs> 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 No offense to you, oh I mean, because I would love that book as well. I would. I, I mean, think. I, should. I don't think. I don't think the time. book will help. Really? I feel like um, anything you have to go through in Lagos, you have to experience it. <laughs> because while, while you're reading it, you might think, okay, I'm just oh, okay, yes, this. You wouldn't know the day and yeah. time it will happen. Yeah. <laughs> so it will still take you by surprise. I All mean, right. <laughs> Let's hear some of your experiences. Mine and uh, the fact that you know the the route I ply. Yeah. Oh shoot. Oh. Mm. Ah. Oh ah. ah. oh, my Oh my <laughs> See, what, what my own experience is going to be. It's not peculiar to me. Something that almost everybody okay. must have experienced. You know, the fact that you get into a bus and unfortunately for you, you are sitting very close to the conductor. Oh hmm. no. And wow. then he's trying to take money from other passengers over you. Huh. The, ah. Do you? Ah, no. Do I need to oh. say it? <laughs> oh, no. You know. The air pollution. Oh, my goodness. Oh, no. At that moment, you'll be like, never. You, you, would, you would swear to walk to your destination instead wow. of taking the bus. Or is it the fact that you pay and demand for your balance and... At the end of the day, when they get to your bus stop, you say, "Hey, Imejeji, Egba." Uh -uh. <laughs> so they expect you to find a solution. Exactly. <laughs> you know, you find a solution to it. They don't As care. <laughs> or a situation whereby you tell the conductor, "Oh, I'm going to um, Osho the under bridge," yeah. and he's like, "Come and in, come in. Wow. Yeah. And then you get to arena, and then they say they want to turn. You have to drop. Uh -uh. And you can't do anything. But that's not you your can't. destination, though. Uh What's care. their business? No. They, they want care. to turn. They might just say um, the traffic is so much they can't pass through that. Yeah. They want to turn. They want to, you know, and they just drop you Very anywhere. And so a lot, and you just keep cursing them. By the end of the day, they don't care. Yeah. They don't care. They're they stressing your life. Yeah. Yeah. And you the, the, the first thing you said um, concerning the some of this order you get from the conductors oh, and stuff like that. Yeah. So this morning, I actually experienced that. This morning? Oh, yes, fresh. This morning. This was fresh, fresh experience. Fresh. <laughs> and I couldn't just say, that, please, can you just can you just shift a bit? So what I did was, I just grabbed my, because my, my perfume, they're all over yeah. me. So okay. what I did, I just sprayed it, like, my face, wow. so you wouldn't be upset. But I just felt like, I can't kill myself. And God help wow. you. You're going for an interview. Oh. The worst. After perceiving that stop, I'm very sure you'll forget everything. Like, you'll just be disoriented, like. Immediately. <laughs> you can't control it. Immediately. Mm -hmm. And that change thing, please, I want to ask yeah. you, Russians, like, that change merging thing, like, haven't you found love through that? Because I think <laughs> some people should have. That's they should have found love through that. That's a good question. Through that. That's yeah. Really? Yeah, you can actually find the love of your life while oh, you're trying exactly. to find change from the local okay. Akarasela. When you're actually, in a hurry to get to where you're going to, would you even have the patience to wait for someone you know, to, actually, to even look at the person I think you want El to Elizabeth is still from. talking from a whole just mind. Like, who is finding love <laughs> like inside that Lagos. Okay. Who is finding love? Let me give you a shocker, right? <laughs> a stressed. friend of mine actually did. Oh, oh, really? Mine, she did. Wow. She ah. did. She's married with two kids now. She wait, did. Ah. Wait, she found her husband on the bus. Yes. So well, trying to change the change. Though. Yes, yes. So they joined oh. them with the change and they were both trying to like savage the situation. You're giving me yeah. 300, I'm giving you 200 and mm -hmm. stuff like that. Oh my goodness. So, um, um, she's a very nice person. As they were not in a hurry. No, no, no. They were not in a hurry. They were not in a hurry. They were not in a hurry. She's just going back home. So <laughs> what she do is that, you know what? Jokingly, transfer my change for me. Just transfer my change. Like, okay, give me your account number. And for her, she uses this uh, microfinance bank right. that um, your account number is also your phone, phone number. number. And okay. yeah, they just keep... The whole thing just Aww. worked out. Yeah, you know? that is amazing. So, maybe I should do that. I mean, I mean, yeah. I mean, for all single toss, maybe oh, it's an opportunity. Find love in hopeless place. <laughs> exactly. <girl. laughs> all right, all right. We need to get into we need to get into some responses. All right, because time is 
Right, time flies when you're having fun, right? Yeah, we are. sure. All right, so we're going to have a look at the first response. The question we're asking, what has been your most shocking experience with public transportation? Also, this is a reminder um, that the phone lines are open. You can call us to share some of your experiences at 0812 Call us, let us hear some of your experiences. Have you found love? And then down for, tell us how you found the love <laughs> of your life. All right, Paula from Lagos. I've experienced a lot of shenanigans in public buses, but the one that shook me was when my phone got stolen. I was oh, rushing oh, no. to work, so I hurriedly sat at the front seat that the conductor directed me to. Meanwhile, there was someone in between the driver and myself. Oh. It was obvious this man knew the driver because they were gisted. Just a few seconds into our journey, the driver told me he won't be going to the same route anymore, that oh, I should no. calm down on the express. The rest is history. history. Since then, I've always been careful, but my eagerness to get to work early that day dealt with me. This is oh such a very unfortunate. Very um, unfortunate. And it's something that is quite common in public very, transportation very um, yeah. in Nigeria. Pickpot pickpocketing. Yeah. One chance as well One is chance. also, have you ever been in a, I, I hope, you have been in a yes, one chance? Yes, oh, yes, wow. yes. In Lagos, oh, God, no. why me? In Lagos? <laughs> yes. So, in five months, you've been in a one chance already. Actually, all of this thing happened First week, my first week in Are Lagos. You yeah. So a friend of mine, I forgot some most of my stuff in Joss. So I needed to get them because I needed them here. So a friend of mine was coming down to Lagos from right. Joss. She also got a job here. So um I went to meet her in Bega to get the stuff mm -hmm. that I needed and, and stuff like that. So I got the stuff, headed back for Ogba. You know, and the, there's no bus stop to, from Bega to Ogba. You don't have a bus stop. The bus mm. just okay, um, yeah. pass you, and then you just everybody just hurriedly like enter and stuff like that. So I'm yet to learn, you know, some of this whole Lagos thing and all that. So <laughs> it was like, hey, quickly enter the bus, just quickly, quickly, quickly. You understand? Yeah. And I was holding a very big bag, yeah. like two big bags and all that, and my phone was inside my my purse, which I didn't even close properly because I don't normally close my purse because yeah, every I'm minute sure. I'm picking something <laughs> from you inside. Don't close your purse I don't close because yeah. every minute. No, there's not something I want to use. Uh, okay. Either I want to use my lip gloss or something. You have yeah. a I do, and I do. Hold Maybe on. you teach me, right? <laughs> <laughs> so in the process of you know everybody rushing into the bus and all that, someone pretended like he was also entering the bus because yeah. he cited me already that I dropped my phone mm. inside my bag. And I guess he saw that new girl from job. Because I think we just people were a bit calm yeah. like we don't really know how to a leave bit too happy a bit uh, yeah transport. yeah yeah exactly exactly <laughs> so in the process of trying to rush in and all that so they just removed my phone from wow. the bag you know and i was i was praying for a new phone so when they took the phone I was like oh okay so an opportunity for people to get me phone yeah As they have I need a new phone. apparently Wow, so, that actually that wasn't is, really a funny experience. Wow, yeah. that is not a funny one then. at all. But you know, they're even worse. Thank God, it is not the worst kind. You know, I've heard. Yeah. You know, we actually have a colleague of us of ours in this office as well, who's been in a one chance, and they threw her out oh, of the bus. She, they threw her out of a moving vehicle. Oh, I think oh, that is just God. so wicked. Like, it's so, so wicked. I, I think um, a woman experienced it of recent. Yeah. she's uh, a HR professional. This happened to her in Abuja. She actually in lost Abuja. her life. Wow. Yes, it happened of recent, I think last week or two weeks ago. Wow. The story actually that trended. So sad. You know, they threw That's her so out of a moving bus, and by the time they got her to the hospital, you know, hospitals, yeah. um, police Before, reports, yeah. and that stuff so like that. Those processes. That she is lost so her sad. Life. You know, that's why Wiki, the minister of the FC, FCT, is actually really taking, not to, you know, politicize this conversation, yeah. but that's why he's really taking one chance um, as a very serious security it's concern that he wants to solve. All right, let's have a look at another response. Rachel from Lagos. I've had plenty shocking experiences, <laughs> but there's this particular one that stands out. On this day, I didn't realize I had only 150 naira in my purse to get me home, when in fact the fare is 200 naira. It's not that I was broke. I just, <laughs> I just didn't have physical cash except that amount. So I thought instead of looking for where to withdraw, I can plead with the conductor to accept 150 naira from me. Matter of fact, the price used to be 100 naira, but the hike in fuel prices raised the fare to 200 naira. After telling the conductor my plight, the man did not only decline my request, but he embarrassed me on top. Oh my goodness. In my mind, it's not his fault. 
<laughs> I later went to withdraw and boarded another bus to oh, my destination. destination. Mr. Conductor, oh, it's goodness. not your fault. It's, it's not your fault. It's just because exactly. we're in this Lagos together. It's not yeah. your <laughs> I mean, when I, something like this, the last time something like this happened to me, I, I did not just, I didn't go to any bus to plead with any uh, conductor. I just went into, um, I think, a plaza, mm. and I was just looking at people. And I cited one woman, I walked up to her, yeah. I asked her, I begged her, I pleaded with her, I asked her for money, then she gave me. Oh, that's oh, nice. That's so nice. And then was, because, hmm. Well, this conductor should be a oh bit my nicer. No, no, but I think once and in Lagos, right, be prepared for it because, um, the the transport fare it's not like it's yeah. not something constant that it can change at any time yeah. based on how they feel the vibe and yeah. also the fare price <laughs> yeah sometimes based on the vibe Apparently. so if the normal um fare to your place or to wherever you're going to is like um a 500 just just hold like a 1000 error yeah. just to be safe yeah. yeah just to be Wait, but i have a question for you conductors in just are they the same? Are they? Is it conductors com comparing conductors in just to are conductors in Lagos? <laughs> are they always angry? Is it? Is it the same vibe? No, or like, how is it no, 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 no. Are so, they nicer? Nice is another statement. Wow. Ah. Uh, wow. So we uh, in just we use KK more. Okay. That's a tricycle to to bus. There are some certain places that um, the bus walks and yeah. stuff like that. But the bus conductors, they're quite. They're nice, you know. Yeah. You stop a bus, and then they'll be like, you know, they'll even reverse and wait for you, even exactly. help you carry the stop, oh, yeah, even yeah. smile, and ah, then you see. And do you know something? You, you <laughs> ah. everybody in the bus is going to greet you. Ah. So no, like we Lagos greet each like other. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I miss my kind of never be Lagos. I've been on the bus, I don't know, everyone's just angry. Everyone's just like, everyone, everyone everyone's just angry. Like, everyone's just 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 like, just be cute. You know one thing, I'm I'll not sure be because yeah. um, it's been five months now that I left Joss. So, but then, you know, maybe you forgot to get something, you need to get some supermarket or something. You can just stop the cake and please, can you give me a minute? You yeah, yeah. you go into the supermarket or whatever you want to get. You take like five minutes, you get it, then come back. You know, and we're all waiting for you in the cake uh, You come back and you still come. You know, I realize <laughs> that the problem in Lagos is that the KK drivers, the cab drivers, the bus drivers, they're trying to make as much money as quickly as, as, as they possible, can. Yeah. So for them to be coming back and pick you up, yeah. what, what, what kind of way? Like, you know, I could have been in that time. You know, that's like, yeah. it's just I very interesting. But Joss is an amazing place. Yeah, yeah. I'd love to visit. You make it sound so amazing. Yeah, oh, please, Actually. please, come, come. All right, let's have a look at Olumide from Lagos. Wait, Oja, do you want to take this? Okay, yeah, from you... Olumide from Lagos. Yeah. One of the craziest experiences I've had with bus conductors and drivers was the day a bus conductor threw my money on the expressway. Wow. I mean, that, is, that is the regular for <laughs> bus conductors. Really? Yes. <laughs> I entered a bus on my way to the office and gave him a 1,000 Naira note and waited for my change. As we drove past different bus stops, I kept asking him for my change, but he did not respond. Just as I was getting down from the bus ar after arriving at my destination, I asked him sternly for my change. At the time, the bus um, drove off and the conductor ran after the bus, hmm. jumped on the back of the bus and threw my 800 Naira um, change on the ground of the expressway. Oh Imagine God. wearing a suit oh. in the middle of the expressway <laughs> and picking notes scattered on the ground with cars on high speed. <laughs> <laughs> it was the most annoying and embarrassing oh my moment goodness. of my life. I mean, oh yeah. my goodness. conductors do this. And I feel like he's even lucky enough to get his 800 naira change. Are you serious? Yes. I'm what not about sure if, if he... the conductor threw 200 naira change uh, on the floor? As in, yeah. I, actually, no, actually, actually I, you know, he has already gone. And yes, that's no, yeah. there's nothing you can do. It's possible. What about if he just, you know, moved his hands and wow. nothing came out? Conductors yeah, just moved. What about that? As the conductors will stay in your white eh? in this country. A fully dressed corporate man rolling <laughs> after chasing notes on the streets. Oh my goodness. On the express. All right. This is 
Kemi from Lagos. This one is quite long, so I'll take mm. this one and then you can take the one after. So Kemi is saying, I was on my way to Osh Oshodi all the way from Ibafo, something that you have a similar mm -hmm. yeah. experience to possibly. <laughs> Before I boarded the bus, I asked the conductor how much the transfer fare was. This was 2022, by the way. He said 600 naira. I begged him to collect 500 since that's all I had. He told me to enter. When we got to Bega, he started collecting money from us. I gave him 500 naira as agreed. agreed. The the lady that side beside me gave him 500 naira too and started asking for 100 naira change. Uh -huh. <laughs> Out of curiosity, I asked her where she was headed. She said, Oshodi. Kemi continues to say, I asked her where she entered from. She said, Mowe. Uh -uh. Uh -huh. I was surprised as to how she's now asking for 100 naira change, meaning that the conductor collected 400 naira from her and was actually going to charge me 600 naira. If not that, I begged him. Wow. I was angry and so I started asking <laughs> for my own 100 naira change too. <laughs> he kept on saying my money is 500 naira. Our little back and forth made the other passengers to start demanding for their change. Wow. Apparently, he collected 600 naira for some other people for, for the, the same, same destination. destination. Oh, my, oh God. my goodness. Even those that entered from Bega, he collected 500 from them to Oshodi. The whole situation just was just very annoying. He had to start settling everybody as people changed it for him. <laughs> oh, man, I'm not going to lie. Fair catch me that day because it felt like I was the one who exposed you. <laughs> he kept looking at me throughout. <laughs> He kept looking at me throughout the rest of the journey, giving me plenty of bombastic <laughs> side eye. Moya looking away, I started <laughs> reciting Psalm 91 in my mind, begging oh my God, God to get me to my destination safe and sound. As in, he would take <laughs> you in this mind, say, You this passenger, I will drop you in the now middle you of the road. <laughs> oh my god, but does this have you ever experienced they something do this like this? A lot. Really, where they are yes. giving different, different prices, prices the to same different destinations, ah, yes. Yeah. And if you're not smart enough, you know, there is it has happened to me yeah. sometimes. And because you know, as a lady, and I don't want any yeah. trouble, I just I'm decide to pay man. because I blame myself yeah. for not asking and for not pricing. All right, okay. so at times when they say when you're going to a particular place and they say, Oh, 500 naira, right. say 400 mm. always. That's one thing I like. Say 400. Mm. Same, I say coming. Yeah. When you get into the bus, you realize that it's either the, the price is actually 400 or 500, I but he allowed you for 400. 400. But in case whereby you did not price, you didn't say anything, don't be surprised if the price is lower than Wait, what you're about But to if pay. there's a culture of this, that means it's not wrong. Because it means that it depends on you as a passenger how well oh, you're you able to negotiate well, for your own trip. Like that. I mean, how is it supposed to be like that? Like it's supposed to be a, a fixed price, price for yet. a particular destination. No, but this is Lagos. This, this is Nigeria, exactly. Right? This is like, exactly. This is Lagos. Exactly. This is Lagos so. I mean, the, the way of doing things in this country is quite <laughs> different, different from a lot yeah. of other places. All right, Hannah from Lagos. Um, Elizabeth, I'll allow you take this. Okay, Hannah from Lagos. My personal experience was more gravitating than surprising <laughs> it happened on a rainy day in lagos as anyone familiar with lagos road knows heavy rain often leads to scarce buses with fare nearly doubling true wow. that true that yeah. i didn't have much money with me that day so i had to so i had to be cautious with my choice after several attempts i finally found a bus with a reasonable price oh that's good with yeah. fare Okay, the fare was high, but was better than the others. I boarded it only to discover that the bus <laughs> oh had Oh my goodness. A the worst. Oh my God. The oh worst. My <laughs> this was particularly frustrating because the bus was overcrowded. Oh my God. I could literally see the ground below. <laughs> Imagine the unease of being able to view the road through the bus floor. Ah, ah. Ah. To make the matters worse, the bus conductor was already collecting fares, showing no concern for the leaking roof. Oh my God. <laughs> I held on to my money until I reached my destination and I couldn't help but feel thoroughly annoyed by the entire Man, experience. That would be so annoying. <laughs> Good I haven't experienced this before, thank God. Like, so, the, so, so yeah. the way some buses mm -hmm. are here, yeah, the way the mm -hmm. condition of some of these mm -hmm. buses, and you know, another thing I've noticed a lot about public transportation is that sometimes, yeah, or you know, I've, I've seen this quite a lot of times yeah. where you see the driver, you see his crushes, it's like his crutches. <laughs> 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 you see his crutch is like poking out the window and sometimes when i look at him i'm like wait 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 wait, hold up the driver is using crutches 
Like, but how is he driving? But how is he driving? The At vehicle? that point, all you can say is you can. All you just do, all you can do just pray. Like, just pray. Keep I ah. actually boarded a bus from <laughs> Benin to Lagos that had no brakes. Yeah. Are you kidding me? Wow. Oh my and goodness. And it, it was it was like night bus. I think it was like in the afternoon. Yeah. And none of us knew until we got into Lagos, and we noticed that this man is not. There's no break. There's no break. He's, the way he was driving and all, and that was when we realized. We just started praying. Ah. We were like all the way from Benin to Lagos. That is dangerous, risk. you know. Some and of the within, conditions. Within Lagos, right, you would see buses that they know very well that they have no fuel. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. But and they will still take and passengers. Also, yeah. Very, they very. They do that a lot. Right. And a it lot. is, the, uh, buses like that will be the ones that immediately you get in, they start demanding for Can you imagine? Because they also battery. So by, by the time they get to a particular place, you just say that the bus is no longer yeah. they won't refund the money. Yeah. Conductor takes um gallon to start looking for fuel and me. That's a oh. whole mess. Oh. Now talking about mess messy <laughs> situation with buses in Lagos states. We have created um some very interesting videos of um some very <laughs> um oh, we've we created a video of buses in um, around Nigeria, not just actually Lagos State that okay. have very peculiar, shocking um, experiences. Let's have a look. Okay, we're actually playing the video. Oh my <laughs> god! From here. <laughs> Let's take this all back. Now, you, as you can see in this bus, the driver is in the vehicle. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what's interesting about this? What? The what? driver is actually sticking his head out of the <laughs> of the bus. Are you kidding me? I Everything oh. has to be now. This is another one. Now, this particular video um, is apparently from this Abuja, and that is the conductor of the bus, as you can see. I just I would like you to see. Dressed. Yes, so you can see his outfits. Okay. Wow. Yeah. Right. He's owning his job yes. for God's sake. Now, Even I want to make us conductors to take note. Can now, never this, be. Now, can <laughs> never this is be how you show conductors. up at work. This is how you show up really? for work if you're serious about your career. Hmm? Yeah, this, is <laughs> like, <laughs> this, this is this is how you show. This uh, is how you show. Tie. I mean, is the color blocking for me? And you know, oh, and you know, it's a red watch. Oh. Now look at this one. Now this this one uh, this one I don't understand it. Same Honestly, here, I don't understand. I find this things like in this proper very proper, problematic. I think it's very improper. Um, I think that the driver and the conductor, perpetrator of the passenger, should be jailed as well because this is this very is dangerous. Crazy. But my question is, um, like, didn't they encounter some of those people that control? You know, I like, wonder that as well. I always wonder that as well. Like I, some of the road safety officials, yeah, exactly. Like, what are they doing about situations? Nothing, you know, just, like that. There's even money. someone there that has a, a jacket it, it, who seems to like, be an official exactly. person and is just looking at mm -hmm. the bus. This is very dangerous. It is. Very, very dangerous. Dangerous. And some of these vehicles, sometimes the brake is half walking, mm -hmm. and then you have all this kind of blue. This even looks beautiful, on like the, the body. Bus. All right, now this video, I want you to have a look at it. I just examine what is going on with this particular. No, no, no. Okay, okay. Yeah, this video, I want you to just take a look at it. I will tell you what's happening. I just want you to understand. Okay. Wait. Wait, I, I don't understand. Wait. Trying to, and they're trying to change the tire this, on yeah. the exit. So the steering is not steering the it's tire. Steering. <laughs> this is this is very dangerous. Oh my goodness! This Sorry, really Larry. So the steering is not steering the tire. So this young man. Um, or so this for how long would he do this? You know, that is a very good question. For how I, long? I but you know something? I noticed that there's actually no one in the car. Yeah. So it's just the driver and the person. So if anything yeah. happens, good luck. You know. All right, so this is another one, and this particular driver <laughs> is using a, drink, <laughs> a screwdriver for his gearbox. Typical. But you can see that there is no particular yeah. um, handle on the on the gear, so oh. he's using a, cru a screwdriver. But come to look at it, right? At least he's using a screwdriver. It's not like yours that yeah. he's not using like, anything. Uh, in the words of the late artist, waiting be this one. Like Wait him be this one like Wait this. Wait him be this one like this. But then he's been through many things. He's, <laughs> he's been many things. He's been through many things. <laughs> Alright, so we've had a lot of fun on this particular topic of conversation. Looking at the experiences of public transportation in Lagos and Nigeria as a whole.